How's it going, Scrub Gamers? It's your boy, Scrub Games, coming at you with a juicy new piece of content for you to enjoy. But, before we do get into the topic of the video, I just want to let you know how you can help support the channel, and that is by checking out Firestorm Games using my affiliate link in the description box below. Because Firestorm Games offer a whole host of products for almost every kind of hobby there is, be it Dragon Ball Super, Pokemon, One Piece, you name it, and they'll likely have it, and at some quality prices too. So just make sure to click the link below and check them out to see the whole host of products they offer while helping support the channel. And also, remember that you can also, and there's another way to help out the channel, and that's by dropping a like, leaving a comment on the video, and best of all, hitting that subscribe button to keep up to date with my content when it drops. Because I'm still on the road to 1k subs, and looking to hit, hit that by the year's end. But now, now we've got all that sorted, let's dive into the topic of the video. How's it going, Scrub Gamers? We're back for another deck profile, and this time we're going over the Red Androids deck because uh, we've had my Road to Finals, well, mine and the Lookouts, uh, Road to Finals locals, gone every Wednesday and Friday up to up to the um, release of Finals next weekend. And just to get us a bit of testing, because we've got the new set legal for it, but we don't get it because there's no pre-release for it, it's just a release of it. And we don't get much testing for just a week, so to give people wait, uh, enough time, we've had it legal to have proxies for the new set, so we can get that testing in a little beforehand, so we can kind of like prepare as best we can. And like, we're only allowed to print the proxies as well, because proxies, if you just do it like a piece of paper, it could be, get a bit like a... Uh, a bit weird, a bit uh, annoying with people being a bit shifty because we know with online events, even if it's free, people still do, do um, shifty things. And um, yeah, I decided to try out some red androids because it looked like the more interesting deck to me. Not the strongest, but the more interesting one I, I really liked it because it can be quite aggressive and I do like these aggressive decks. And I did have my initial build for the first lot of uh, weapon locals, which are once again on my channel. You can see my gameplay from them. And then I changed up the build a little bit for the second run of it to try and see something different. And after a bit of tweaking after that, I finally got my third build. I didn't test it for the last one because I wanted to try Red Tyrion, one of my other decks. I'm potentially taking the finals. And um, I've got this build for now. This is my final build. I could take to it, depending if I can get some cards from the new set, like some of these cards, if I can get them in time to play. Without further ado, without the way, we're going to get into the list and go over and I'll go over my tech choices and stuff like that. And kind of go in as in depth as I have is in my other videos, tech profiles with like the uh, Vegito deck. And give you as much information as you can if you want to try it out. Because I know that like not everybody's finals is going to be this weekend like mine for Europe. But there's going to be other finals like in January and like a week after and stuff like Italy the week after ours and France and stuff like that. So if you're interested, keep stay watching. Otherwise, you can also help out my channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Helps you helps the channel out greatly and keeps you updated with my videos as when they drop as well. Especially if you get that notification bell. So let's get to it and have a look at the video and well the deck list and let's check what we got. So first of all, we'll start with the leader because this make it makes a lot more sense to understand what the leader does because some decks like the leader is like very vital and like color and uh, like trait and stuff like that so this is the red android lead so doesn't have a z lead unfortunately but then yeah i don't know like uh normally when we've had red uh, z leads they've been a bit uh too strong as we've seen some ever red decks and i don't have a like well whoever designs red for bandai does not have a uh like does not have any like concept of what is too busted what is too what is not too busted so this is just a standard Android, so it's Android 17 and 18 on the front, flips over to Android 17 and 18, uh, Future Evil. And yeah, you can gain quite a good uh, value and draw from the awaken Awakening, and you can do that very easily. Because um, on the front side, it's also, like, it's got also on the front and the back side. The front side, it's when it attacks, you look at top five cards of your deck, add up to any any one red Android card from among them, shuffle your, shuffle your deck. So any red Android, that's a lot better than some of the effects in the, in the uh, deck. When it comes to searching for like red androids, normally got a cost stuff to it. This is just any red android, so you should rarely ever whiff of it. If you do whiff, that's unfortunate, but you should rarely ever do that. And on the awaken side, it's also then changes to being once per turn, when it uh, when your android 17 or 18 card, card attacks, you draw one because it doesn't have to be leader. It could be when you battle card. Just any time an and the first time an android 17 or 18 card attacks, you draw one. So you swing on a battle card, draw off that, which is pretty cool. So it means that if you're locked and can't attack with your leader, or don't want to attack with your leader, then, or it's not going to be beneficial to attack with your leader, you can tell something else, so that's a 17 or 18, and get a draw off that way. That's really nice. And then on the front side, you've got a uh, one one time use effect. So it's uh, an activate main where you add up to one red Android 20 card, eventually cost the one from your deck to your hand, shuffle your deck, and then negate the skill for the game. 
Now that's pretty nice, just handy, just once once a game, you just search the deck for a red Android 20, that's energy cost of 1 and red to your hand, and then that's it, you can't use it again. But that's great, so if you have a, if you don't have a turn 1 play, you have to certainly use that ter first turn energy, like if you go in second, you're normally going to attack, uh, get the auto off, combo, and then you can see, see extra out early to kind of awaken and get your strategy going. If you're going first, you kind of want to like, use your first energy with. And if you don't have an Android 20 or like a one cost to play, then you're going to be using that energy. But luckily, I activate main is there, so that way you're not wasting that first energy. You're then um, just pe get searching for the uh, one of your um, Android 20s that is uh, energy cost of one. I'm that to and playing it to get the effect of and make use of that first energy. You don't want to basically waste any energy in this deck. Like uh, you want to make sure you're using it up effectively and like do using your resources properly. And that's a great way to use it. And then the awakening is quite nice because it's either standard awakening or alternate awakening. It's nice when these have alternate awakenings. And for this one, it's when you're nice to four or less. Or if you have two more energy and a West, destroyed West City in your battle area, and spoiling it, the destroyed West City is a Z extra in your uh, Z deck. Uh, essentially, what you do is you draw two cards and take your life down to six and flip over. So you draw two extra cards to so get in that, those cards in hand nicely. You don't get any energy on tap, which is a shame, but that's not the end of the world. You get two new cards to hand and then if you, then you take your life down to six you essentially draw unless you take any damage four cards off your awakening and you can essentially from your awakening draw six cards in total by swing with your lead first and then get in the auto then awakening taking drawing two and taking two cards from life to hit you down to six if you haven't taken life any damage already and then when you awaken swing with anything that's android 18 or 17 even if it's the leader and get a draw that way as well so you can get some good value from the awakening and like mount your hand up oh, not as great as how like red sin used to do but almost as great. And then when you're awakened, now you have a, well, you have this uh, two activate skills. You have activate main and activate battle, both for once per turn. So the first one, the activate main one, is once per turn, you choose one of your under 20 cards and you KO it. So this comes to like where it's important to have the under 20, like you can get, uh, you've got some in the deck. You can, once again, you can search the one out for it for, um, for your once per, turn, once per game effect on the front side. So if that one survives a turn, you've got this effect to use it to uh, KO it. It's just cost, just to cost is just to KO that Android 20. And it's got to be on the board, mind you. And then the effect is you play up to one red Android 17 or Android 18 card, but both with no keyword skills. So it could have autos or like Android mains, but no keyword skills. The keyword skills meaning uh, not like limit one and stuff like that. Like people see like limit one once per turn and stuff like that. And that's not keyword skills. That's, key that's keywords, but not keyword skills. Keyword skills like critical, double strike, barrier, and that kind of stuff. And uh, it's going to need to also have energy cost less than or equal to your energy. So depending on your energy, either that amount or less, you can play. And in that card, you play it. Uh, you play that card in your hand, and then you give it barrier for the turn. And then as well, you get to choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards or using cards to give it minus 15k power for the turn. So it's pretty nice. You're a little bit negging like Red's known for. Plus you get to bring out uh, for free essentially an Android 17 or 18 less than or equal to your energy, and give it barrier for the turn. So it's got protection. But then after your turn ends, it's got. But at least you got a nice little bit of uh, protection for that uh, for that first initial turn, might be coming down. And not only that, you also get an activate battle, which is once per turn. And if it's your turn, so it only works during your turn. But you're you're allowed to choose up to one of your red Android cards and get 5k power for that battle. So it's quite nice. Just be able to swing with an Android Android battle card, uh, and then just go give it 5k power for the turn off of the battle once per turn during your turn. It's pretty nice. It's a shame that it's not either player's turn. That would be, I might be a bit too strong. I don't think it would be, but it might be a bit too strong. But then that would, if we had that effect going both players' turn, that would use that new anniversary box pattern amazingly. But since it's only your turn, you only get effect then, and uh, it's not really that worth it. But it's just a nice little boost in your turn for any battle card, especially you've got to give it like crit or double strike. Just adding that on for free is quite cool. Just later, quite nice, quite uh, easy to use. And we'll get into the deck list now and see uh, what we've got. So from my second round of testing and initial and like for, for the final bit as well, like this is the final list, uh, I tend to go with the Gogeta uh, the Unison because it's an easy turn two play if you're going a second, and it's more of turn three play if you're going first because you want to get that C extra and of course first turn you can attack and get out Z energy and so turn two you have to do that to get your Z energy which costs energy. So yeah, we're gonna have to. Um, yeah, play this out turn three if you go in first, but if you go in second, you get to play out turn two and not worry so much. But because uh, you're going to be playing the Z extra turn one in, in that case. 
But yeah, this is a really nice one because it's a unit that can keep a load of markers because it's got its main weight plus markers is plus two, so it comes down with two red initially. Then we can plus up the two, uh, two, and that plus two also helps in the bet uh, with the deck because its effect is to play up to one red battle card energy because of one from your hand in rest mode. So that's majority of your um that's like mainly your under twenties that you want on board the pop and then free player android. So add to that, and then those also. Those also androids are your searcher slash cantrip, so you get the like get a card back, you play it out for free, set on board for free, and then you get to like search for and search the top five or draw a card, which is quite nice. And also this also replaces itself when it played as well, because it's uh, also is when it's played, you'll get the top three cards of your deck, add it to one red card among them to your hand and place the rest on the bottom of your deck. And yeah, so you, you replace that and also find something useful and this could find any red cards, you can find your super combos, find your um negate anything red if you want like some cards that aren't androids quite handy and it also acts as an extra like a uh, finisher or like push uh, push swing as well because it can direct attacks away from your leader from error battle cards because you don't want to not keep leave it around with four markers or well, four more than four markers on because it's minus four being able to get 15k power and double strike for the battle I mean you can use it as a finisher and that's quite handy like directing attacks away from like say your leader or your battle cards so it doesn't keep the markers like too high of markers and also being used as a finisher is quite good, and then replacing it helping your strategy it just seems really useful as well. Plus, you can give you access to things like Wolfang and Yamcha, which are quite handy in decks as well. So, we have four copies of that because we kind of want to get that down, and the longer it stays around, that's an extra attack, and uh, yeah, all the benefits I just said, really. So, we play four of those, and then we also play some Android 20s. So, we play four of the Searcher because it's a lot more useful than the cantrip so we got two of the cantrip one order to kill goku and four of the searcher now i go for the search more for the searcher than the account you could go free free but or you if you prefer just the cantrip you can switch the ratios up i prefer the four of the searcher than of the cantrip because the searcher allows you to get your super combos because spoiler alert we're playing the android 20 super combo in this deck because it's a it's an android it's that way it's searchable with things that get your super combos and it's very easy to set up like even though you don't have a main Z battle card or a Z leader in this deck, but you can get Z energy by just comboing things to get things up, up and running. And it should be too bad to get your uh, super combos live. Plus, they can help you actually be proper super combos, drawing you cards to get a take your power by without needing to go to a certain life like Raditz does and stuff like that. Because I find like when I was testing with this with Raditz, the super combo, I found, found that. Really, if people just kept away from my leader, stop attack, didn't bother attacking my leader, just control my board and units and stuff like that, then I was losing out on using my super combos because there's no real way to take life. Another cards in the archetype take life or anything like that. And if you incorporate more cards to take your life, then you kind of, if you don't see those cards or uh, or anything like that, then you're not going to really get the benefit of that because you need to see them early and then get super combo to be able to use them. So I just went with the Android 20 super combo. Which is actually here because it's a lot easier, and also is another Android 20 as well. Which, if you play, you can pop, but then you don't really play it. Just easier super combo. But these are rather have the searcher because you can find the super combos, find your key pieces because you want your Android 18, 17, 18, so that's put into your extra. And this is just helps with consistency. Whereas the counter just shows you a card, and if it's not something you want or something that you didn't want, then that's just not really useful. But also, there's enough copies of these to be able to find one turn one to be able to get the uh, turn one play or just have it ready to get on the board without. Because uh, it's got nice little activate mains as well, where if you've got if your leader is this leader and you've got no battle cards in your battle area, you can play this card from your hand for free, but you can't play under 20, uh, 20 cards from your hand for the rest of the turn. So. You can do it once, once, and then you can't play any more from your hand, but you still can play it from your Z deck as well, because there's Android 20 in your Z deck. So you can still, if you play one of these from your hand for free using the Android main, you can still play the one from your Z deck because it's not from hand. But yeah, just help consistency and help you get the use of your leader to pop them and then free play out an Android from your hands to get those bigger threats for all these little guys. Plus, get the, uh, make it full use of the plus two on the units as well. So those are our first lot of androids, and then we've got some Android 17 and 18. So we've got the uh, the two maxed out, so four of each of the Android 17 and 18 infinite rotations. These are the ones that help you spam the cards under your um, Z extra. So fill the Z extra up chock full of androids to make use of your effects, like to play out from underneath it, or to play cards for your hand that require cards from underneath it to to use. These are handy because they've both got a um, activate main. Well, they've both got two autos. Both of them at one, and the first one is uh, requires one red, and the one that requires one red is if your leader is a android card, 
uh, at the end of a battle when one of your ever characters with Android 17 is if an Android 18 attacks or if Android 18 is if 17 attacks, then you get the play this card from out underneath your um, Destroy West City into the uh, it's in your battle area. So essentially, if you swung with an Android 18 battle card and one of the and the Android 17 is under the um, your Destroy West City, at the end of the battle you can then just pay one red and play this out from underneath the C extra and then vice versa. If, if a 17 attacks, you play the 18 underneath it. Now you don't necessarily play these ones underneath them, like you can do, but they're only 50, 2 cost 15k, so they're like small attacks. But they've got a really handy second auto, which also is at uh, limit 1. And that is when this card is, uh, when you place this card from your hand under your Destroy West City in your battle area, you get the place up to one red Android of the ever one, so 17 places an Android 18 from your deck, and it's Android 18 places Android 17 from your deck underneath it, underneath your um field, uh, your Z extra. I keep calling it a field because it's so used to being field cards, but it's Z extra. So essentially, if you put the if you put this Android 17 under your Z extra from your hand, you get to play and put an Android 18 from your deck underneath the the extra as well, and vice versa. If it's 18 from your hand underneath it, you get put a 17 from your any, and it's any 17 or 18 as well from your deck. So you can pick the same same kind of uh, it's like the infinite rotation where you pick a bigger target that's got more be benefit. But normally, you're going to put one of these on the there, um, and put a level draw a card for off the, the extra effect, and then put another one from your deck under. And remember, when you're resolving effects, you resolve whatever effect you're doing and then go on to the next sort. So, so you can. Use this effect to put. Use the Z extra to put this underneath it, and then do that before the draw. You've got a resolve the effect, so put this underneath it. Draw the card, then resolve this also. So those are the uh, ones we put just to kind of thin the deck, get XST going, because we want a lot of cards and a lot of androids under the Z extra for benefits of some of the ever battle cards. And then we've got the ever two targets you're not normally going to put underneath that. Uh, now there is a never Android 18. That's also a perpetual motion machine. In the deck, but I found that some decks that have barrier and stuff like you can like minus thing is a good way to finish things off for red. Like it's a good way, but against barrier, it does nothing. And the critical is great. It's great early, but later games you want to get those double strikes in, so I can like do more damage, push up, push more damage, kind of reduce their life a lot uh, quicker. And I find that. Well, for a bit of testing after trying out some of the Android 18 skills there, 30, the 30k free drop skillless, I found it a lot better to have these big beat sticks that are hard to get over and hard to combo out of. So I went with the. So I used to run the uh, four, four copies of the Android 18 Perpetual Motion Machine, which gains critical and minus something by 20k. But I switched them out uh, for the skillless ones because getting a lot of these skills 30ks out is like for free and cheap, is really hard to deal with. Because they're big bodies to tack over, and unless you're playing a deck that can easily remove them, just like you're popping them constantly, then yeah, sure that's uh, that's an issue. That's not great, but then you're still getting big swings in, especially when you're uh, swinging with it and then giving it 5k for free to one of them. Just a huge 30k swing, especially early. It's hard to like combat if you're using the gates on that and stuff, which they're going to want to save the negates for things like cards that have double strike and everything things like that. But the Android 17, he's got the same kind of auto as these ever two here, where um, when you pay one, where after an Android 18 attack, you can play this card from out under the Troy West Sea from the new battle area. Pretty good effect, but it's also got a never auto, which is also one, which is when this card is played, you draw one card, and this card gains double strike for the turn. Now, I prefer that over the S1, thing up, another thing I prefer, uh, this 17 over the Android 18, and that's because, well, mainly because the Android 18 also had a never free drop skillless to fast 30k power, that was a bit better, like 30k compared to 19k is a lot stronger, that's uh, requiring a f quite a bit of combo power to um, come out of it, and people are less likely using the gates on the 30k skillless when you've got things that have like double strike and critical and stuff on board to avoid taking those swings just in case they get too uh too high with a 30k like okay if i take it i'm still getting a damage hand where it's critical or not or if or like double strike you're only taking the one damage from the skillless but this android 17 helps you add a bit more to draw power because whenever you play it the first time you play one of these cards per turn you get the draw and give it double strike which is quite nice the double strike is a bit nice bit of pressure on the draw just helps you thin your deck finding adding more cards and these are the main three drops you can be dropping and with the Android Z, the Android Twenty Z battle card we've got in the uh, in the Z deck, which we'll get to, and after this, after we go over the main deck, you can uh, spam out multiple copies of this Android Eighty for a bit of pressure if you don't need the double strike. 
So those are the three drops. Then we got some more androids. So we've got the uh, the new TP. Now this won't be legal for finals, but it is one I put. Uh, so I put in um, when we have the TPs legal. So after finals. But for now, I will probably switch this out for something like the uh, new anniversary box pan. Just that way, it's extra troll power. It comes down for the same cost and then adds extra troll power. Potentially in your opponent's turn as well as uh, your, you can easily do it in your turn with the pan. But in your opponent's turn, that's where it becomes quite tricky. This android is quite nice. Being uh, you can drop it for one as long as you're a leader that's a red non-same, which our leader is, and your opponent has two more energy. It draws a card, so it replaces itself when it plays and plays it from the sand for just one. Minus link by 20, uh, 15k when it comes down over a battle card or units for a first auto. And if you attack a battle card, it restands at the end of the turn. And that's relevant because it's got blockers as well to help defend yourself. So you can kind of uh, have a bit of board management by minusing things when it comes down and then attacking into things to kind of get rid of it. And if you attack into a battle card, you get to restand it to have it as blocker next turn. So this is very handy, but as I said, for finals, we switched out for a pan from the anniversary box. Just to get that, because kind of same cost, it's like dropping it, and a bit adds a bit more troll power as well. Then we've got the six drop, and we've also got the eight drop of the end of the dual androids, Android 17 and 18. So we've got hunt down for hunt down survivors, the six drop, and then we've got domination achieved as the eight drop. So the eight drop being our SR, SBR, and our big boss card. Now we're going to go for three of each. Because these ones don't come down until later turns, like sometimes you don't even drop the six drop, but it's just there, and it doesn't really, they don't really, well, the android, the eight drop one, can replace itself because it draws your card when it's played, but the six drop doesn't give you back anything from hand, and it, while it is powerful, it's just, yeah, single strike, and it's not as beneficial against certain decks. So the six drop is a six drop 25k, so 25k being a sweet spot uh, without leaders well against leads that are just standard 15k because it requires a super combo plus another 5k to out combo it as cheap as possible and it comes up for one and this is why you need more and also yeah it comes on late and this is why you need quite a few other uh, androids under your, Z your uh, west destroy west city that's why we're putting normally the infinite rotations on the if you troll west city so they can put more from the deck because it's actually main is limit one for one red if you have three or more energy and you choose one red android 17 and one red android 18 from your, uh, from your battle area and or from under destroy west city in your battle area Play this card from your hand, and then place those cards underneath it. Now the benefit, uh, now the, it, unlike the eight drop, this doesn't have a benefit of being able to make use of the cards underneath it. It just puts the cards underneath it, and then I sit there underneath it. They didn't really do anything, or it can be played out from underneath it. That's why we put the infinite rotations under the six drop, and more of these three drops under the eight drop. Now this card also has dual attacks, just getting two twenty-five k swings in, and an auto of when it's played, you use up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Uh, or unisons and minus it by 25k power for the turn so you can normally kill something with that effect which is quite cool as long as it doesn't have barrier or like knock a marker off a unison which is cool but that's all it does just drop without replacing anything from your hand at, fr at, at turn three or higher and you just get minus something and then get two attacks in like if you're going first you get a lot of pressure in you just, like you're keeping your board that you're massing over time and just getting a lot of pressure in that could be really handy for one energy but it's not the greatest. That's why when you have three copies of it, because it can come in handy. Sometimes it can. Uh, it sometimes isn't that great, handy, but you can always uh, use this as a side deck slot as well, like so to slide out easily if needed. And eight drop is what is really good because you can play this out for free um, as well as play, like paying out by its effect. Like sometimes you pay out its effect. Sometimes if you want to use your energy for other things, ever kind of plays, then you can also get this out for free. And we'll come out to that when we get to Z deck really. But the drop this, you need to be at four. Uh, you need to pay two because it's activate main. Is limit one for two red energy. If you have four more energy and you choose one red android 17 and one red android 18 from under your Z extra in your battle area, uh, in your battle area, you draw a card and play this card from your hand and place the cards underneath it. So this can't, unlike the six drop, this can't use cards in the battle area. Android 17s and 18s in the battle area. The play out is got to use the ones from underneath the Z extra. The Z extra. So you want to make sure you've got a perpetual motion machine and a skillless one under your. Um, Z, your Z extra because they're going to be the main ones you can they're going to get benefit from being on this one and the main types one and that's why like for this and we'll find out why the six drop you want to put the infinite rotations under and the eight drop you want to put the three drops under uh so first of all we'll go to the fact that it's got it's a 30k with double strike so a big a uh, big chunky boy and normally what they're going to use negates it um against rather than your 30k skillless because it's got double strike it also has an auto which is limit one i think all the skills are limit one 
And that's when this card attacks, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 30k power for the turn. Now it's a shame that unlike they didn't give it like a minus thing through barrier, like uh, the trunk stock deck got. Like really this should minus through barrier for 30k since you're paying two and like quite late into the game to play this. So that kind of sucks, it's not as good for barrier, but the Bandai being Bandai has to limit one of the decks harder than the other one. But still, it's still decent, minus in the 30k, not for barrier, but then you've got everything to go for barrier. It just means that this deck has a uh, less than, well, less than most red, red decks do of uh, dealing with barrier, remove, like barrier and having barrier removal troubles. But still, still strong card. And the ever one, which is why we, and the ever reason we put the uh, free drops underneath it is through the activate main slash battle with Scott, which is also a bit one. And that effect is play up to one Android 17 and up to one Android 18, both for entry cost of three or less from the discard, and then place this card in your drop. So main slash battle, you can um, sack this card off and play out the two uh, the targets underneath it that as long as they're free or less. This is why you want to put the perpetual motion machine and unskilled with Android 18 underneath it, because when you drop this, you're gonna well, if you drop like, drop it with the activate main, you're gonna be drawing a card and then putting those two under from the extra underneath it. Then you're going to be swinging with this card, minus up to 30k. Then either mid-battle, if you feel it's going to get killed, or anything like that. Or just after the battle, you can sack it off and play the two card attacks from underneath it. Which then mean you've basically now swung with a 30k double strike. And then now you've got another 30k single strike skill to attack with. And a 90k electrical shield card and gains double strike. And you can swing with those, those, and using the ZX, one of the ZXs we've got, you get to put them, like, play it back up from your drop, and put those cards back under it, do it again for another big swing, and drop that. And it's main slash battle, so you could be using your opponent's turn to drop things as well, to like save itself, and uh, if it's going, if it's being attacked into, to trick these two new guys. But we can play three of these because it's quite late into game turn four. And sometimes you can drop one and play, play one for free, so you've got two on board and you can use their effects. But uh, yeah, we don't want to have like four copies of things we can't play, potentially play early. We want them to, we want to limit them so we don't dead draw them in hand. But three should be enough to see them when you need them, and yeah, not have not have a hard time trying to find them. But that's all our androids, that's all the android stuff in this red android deck. And now we've got five more cards, so first one we've got is Trunks Delusion Power. So this is meant. This deck is meant to be an aggressive deck, like keep swinging, swinging high, swinging hard, and also you want to be accumulating Z energy as well, which it doesn't seem like you do too much because you're normally putting things out on the boards, like just putting a lot of bodies out. But you want ways to accumulate Z energy as well for some of the effects and make your super combo alive, and also put a lot of pressure on. And Chugs and Lose is really good at that because since your deck's essentially all red. You can put a lot of pressure on and get good combo power. Like this is essentially a 10k for any of these. Also, offensively, your defense. Like if you're doing offensively, any swing, like with this uh, free drop, uh, Android 17, it gains double strike, making that 29 plus give it a 5k boost from your lead. You could put like some higher numbers up early to put on that pressure and accumulate the energy as well. Because just also you can use it defensively as well. If your opponent's stacking in some of your battle cards, you need to defend them and you're like using a it's like going 5k over and you need to get over but you don't want to use a super combo because either you can't use the draw or you don't want to waste a super combo early you can use trunks or lose to then just combo in and get a 5k power because it's got a nice little of if your battle if the battle card in battle is red like of yours yeah if your battle card is in battle is red when this card's using the combo this card gets 5k combo power for the duration of the turn so again that like basically this is a extra free 10k combo for any of your red battle cards defensively or offensively so you play four copies of those, so you can get the pressure, that pressure, and just put more like make your attacks as high as possible, or as high, like higher than usual. So you put as either you waste a load of cards comboing out, or take the hits. Then we've got two Sun Gohan defeating the demon as well, and this one's just really handy because with uh, enough like uh, just two cards in your Z Z energy, and your Z extra out, you can have this live because this one's a unique one where. For its first permanent, it's just for each Z energy on the cost of Z cards in your battle area, in your leader area and battle area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. So your Z extra counts towards it. And if you go into your Excel Dance, this is live just from having that. And then Excel Dance is hard to remove, like really hard to remove because it's a Z extra in your battle area. Uh, that counts. Or you've got the uh, the ever, the ever permanent by uh, but reduce the Z energy on Z energy cards. 
the card by one card in your oh in your Zenith, yes. Things like seeing cards on board in the back and the arrow as well. It's pretty easy to reduce that. You can even get it reduced uh, by turn two HP and skill hot if a pure got hit. To try and get this life by turn two is possible, which is nice. And it's just for free. Uh, we play two of them for deck, deck space, and it's not really as searchable as most of the other cards that are androids. Like Trunks are usually drawn to it, it's not an idea, it's not a break, but then you're drawn to Trunks, which is handy. Whereas the girl pops cost energy, whereas Trunks does not. So you've only got two copies for when they're happy. Because it's just a energy, come down as a one drop, minus 20k, and be a blocker and double strike power, and double power too. And then we have our secret rabbi time time uh pan time rabbi. Now there are a fair few good um secret rares for red. There's the new trunks that came out in this set as well for the mainly for the trunks deck. But that isn't as great because it's not really got any protection and it's not as it's still quite costly for a red secret rare. That's one thing with um red secret rares that are very very few well, very good few of them. But uh they're more costly than some other ones. Like uh the main three you've got I say the main three. Yeah, the main three you've really got is your new trunks one, which can come down. But to get its full full effect in this deck, you need to pay a full four energy, which is quite costly just for a one card play. And then you've got the uh, Vegeta Secret Rare as well, which once again is four energy for a one card play, which is unless you're finishing it as a burn free game, it's not going to be as great. And then the the other one that you haven't read that's really good is the. Gogeta Zeno. The only problem with Gogeta Zeno though, is it only really gets full effect if you're, well, if you're four or less, four or more energy, that uh, mono red, and also having a red Saiyan leader, which ours is not. So you don't get access to one of the, like, one of the best secret rares for red, and the other two, one being one of the best and one being okay, are quite costly. So we turn to a different color to get uh, a secret rare being black because they're more generic ones and fits really well because it can be used as a very nice defensive tool because you can spam the board battle cards and use it as a like a bit like a mini hatch to like end battle card swings for that turn which is quite cool or you can use it offensively as a free 20, uh, 40k beat stick if need be to finish or close up games as well because you once again you can spam the board and even catch your opponent's board as well to then reduce by two for every battle card on board so it's really handy as a of, like in this deck as a potential defensive tool if need be and also a good offensive tool if need be as well to finish off that last get a last swinging uh, uh, high power it's a very good secret reference the ideal one for if you find, find it a deck that in in a color like you can't find one like most other colors have good secrets this is like green has a fair few but they can be a bit more costly and blues normally got there before of uh, different secret rares and yellow has yeah, yeah, that was a pretty good one. But like, Pan makes a very nice one for if you've got if if, if a secret rare in your color doesn't really fit, which like strategy, like more being aggressive, then Pan's always a good one to put in. And then for the last two, we've got extras being explosive dance and average technique. So explosive dance is just really handy. Like if your opponent pushes you down to four, you've got this live because you've always got like as part of the archetype, you've got the C extra in the battle area to help with your um deck fitting and stuff like that. So it's just really handy and it's just you know, like it's just a great floodgate just for the rest of the turn. If they want to attack with anything that's not the leader, they have to sack off C and like C energy whose like power equals the equals the power or more of the battle card attacking. So it's really handy. And since you have uh, don't have the like, luxury of floodgates in this deck, like with um those presents stuff like that, then you're gonna have to use a never strong one. This is a great one to have. Could be a staple one of every red deck going forward. And because we've got generic Z extras now in the anniversary box one, and then two cups after image. Sometimes like, you can easily load up your grave, your uh, drop with um like cards just to have this use live, and this could be handy to help get over some bigger swings and also get some life as well if your opponent's just refusing to attack your leader. And this control your board just help defend, take your life down the four. Like not relevant really, but just handy to have this use of free to help defend yourself against certain swings. And that is it for the main deck. So 50, trying to keep it as close as possible. Like it does get close to decking out with this deck if you like keep going on because you can just fin you because you're finning your deck using the uh infinite rotations to put cards under your Z extra and just drawing with like most effects either drawing or replacing themselves, you like fill it through quite well. And that's one thing you gotta be careful with with uh decking out. 
But remember, this deck is meant to be very aggressive, so you need to keep push, push, pushing for pressure with this deck. That's why we've got the skillless 30k's rather than the 90k crits, because they're higher power, push through damage as well. And then with the Z deck, so this is where it starts to make more sense with the X. We've got the two Z extras for the deck being the Shadow City and Axel Dents. Unfortunately, they do a very small sideways one for Deck Planet. Can't be helped because they're out of sideways cards for the Z extras. But essentially, the Shadow City is a six drop one uh, one cost, one Z cost. But it's got permanent where if your leader is either the two red leaders in the set, then you reduce them in your Z deck by five. So it potentially comes out for a 1 1. And Z stacks 1, either putting Axel Dance or the other 1 for the other deck underneath it. So both it works for both both decks in the that come out in this set. And you put their respective Z extra underneath, which would be Axel Dance, because you don't want to pay in 3 for 3 for Axel Dance. You're paying 1 for 1, Dreadwell West City, and then putting that underneath it. And what the Shrug West City does for his uh, ever effect is an activate main once per turn. Which is uh, place one red android or Saiyan from your hand under this card, and if you do, draw one. So, cost is just put the and uh, red android or uh, in this deck a red android underneath it, and then draw one. So, you then, that's how you trigger the uh, infinite rotation. Put the infinite rotation in, on the, from your hand underneath it, draw one, and the infinite rotation will trigger. They put a never of, a diff of the ever android from your deck underneath it. So, you put 17, put an 18, put an 18, put 17. And then you've got Axel down. This is the one that goes under your from the Z stack under the Shrower City, and it's got two advent mains, both limit one as well that trigger. And you only really use this when you get a turn four, because that's when you can drop your big boss, and as you get a little bit more benefit of like getting a pretty good uh, pressure turn. So for the first advent main, is if your life, if your life, uh, if you're at four or more energy, if you up four or more energy, and you place two of your Z energy in your drop, from yeah, two two cards from your Z energy in your drop. Then you place this, play this card from underneath the Troll West City on top of it, and then you choose up to one of your eight drop Android, the Android 17 and 18, uh, dominated, domination achieved, and give it 5k power for the turn. So you need to have enough C energy for this, like at least two energy C energy for this. And normally what you do is drop the SR, you drop the your big boss, domination achieved, you drop that for two energy, you draw a card. Then you use Axel Dance from underneath your um, C extra to sack off the. Um, yeah, the sack of 2Z energy and place it from underneath the draw, 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 uh, destroyed West City on top of it. And then get that, get that boost to your, Z, um, your, your big boss. And then after you've attacked with the big boss and then sacked it off to bring out the 2 from underneath it, that's when you have the effect. And then it, once you attack with those, once you, yeah, sack with your bo big boss, sack it off to play out the 2 from underneath it and then swing with those 2 from underneath it, then you can activate the ever activate me on it, which is, um, by, put, by placing this card from on top of the Shrove City underneath the Shrove City, and then choosing one of your Android 18 and Android 17 cards, one of each in your battle area, you get to play out on top of those two cards. Well, you get to play out the your big boss from your drop on top on, onto the board, and then you get to play those two cards you selected underneath the, um, the Android 8, the under Domination Achieved big boss card you just played. Now the big thing with this is you don't need to you don't need to have a domination achieved to play to use the first activate main to place it for the like get it out ready. So you can technically use this a way to free play if you don't want to pay the energy for your big boss or you've comboed it off and it's gone to drop. You don't have to um have the big boss card on board for the first activate main, so you can just use the because it says up to one. So you just use the effect of the first activate main, not choose anything, not get the full benefit like you would if you played out first, and then use the second activate main to then Choose one of your Android 17s on the board, or one of your Android 18s on the board. Then play your 8 drop from your drop, place some underneath it, so you can cheat out the um, 8 drop that way. If you don't pay energy, save energy for other things like C extra replays, or if you also want to get, if you also want to play the Vegeta S Secret Rare, to play that out and then get that one out to put as much pressure as possible on out. You can do it that way. But that's another way to do it, just if you want to get the full benefit of dropping the SR from your hand, use this effect. Dead swing with it, sack it off to play out there and get as many swings as possible, you can do it that way. Or if you just want to use it as an easy way to cheat out your 8 drop, you can do it that way. It's a pretty good way to do it. But that's one of the nice little benefits from the Z extra. And then we got the other C, um, C, battle, C battle cards we got. We got the Android 14 and 15 Team of Terrors. And this is great because it's got a permanent, where if you've got an en uh, a red Android in play with energy cost of 7 or more, it reduces the cost of this card in your Z deck by one red, meaning it becomes a one cost free Z energy play from your Z deck. 
and lo and behold, your um, big boss card at Domination Achieve is an 8 drop. So that helps reduce the cost. So you can potentially free play out the 8 drop and then play this out from your Z deck if you've got enough Z energy that is. And this is great because it's, it's up to flight, um, unique, double strike, uh, dual attack, and barrier. No, no, blocker, that's it. It's blocker. It's hard to see really from this angle. Um, but yeah, it's got all those keyword skills and also it gains itself barrier where first it's got two autos, both ones return. First one is when it attacks, you use it to one android from your drop in a combo. And then this card gains barrier until the end of your opponent's next turn. Meaning that you on the first swing, you just basically choose any androids from your drop, combo with it, and gain barrier. And the good thing is it doesn't specify like a combo power, it just says any red android. So if you've got super combo in your drop, you can combo that for a 10 extra 10k combo and make it 25k on the first swing. Which is pretty nice, and it's got power, and then you can either it resets after because it's got dual attack. Yeah, block it. It's everything, so it's relevant because then if you block with it, is is one per turn when it's card activates blocker, switch it back to active. So you can use it as a dual blocker or dual attacker. Swing is always uh, 25k. If you as long as you use super combo, that's one benefit. If it's a super combo, like uh, for Android 20 super combo instead of uh, Raditz, because you can get a uh, more swings off this. Which is quite we use too because if one goes, you can drop another one. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's accumulates the energy and also being effectively as well. Okay. Twice. Then we have one copy of SS4 Ghost on Goku, Defender of Life, just that to like help help you like be as aggressive as possible, get them to four, and then use this to burn them, and then keep the pressure on. And even have it as a double strike finisher with our barrier as well, because it's deflecting double strike, but then when it's played against it barrier. And deals one damage to them if they've got four more life. So very good finish. Take one copy of those because you need one really to only one you need one instance of this to bring from four to three. And then the last one we've got is the Android 20 creating evil. So this is the Android 20 we've got in the Z deck to help uh, use from the leader's effect if we don't want to play one from hand or can't play one from hand. Because it's a, it's a one cost one Z energy, 5k, has deflect, so it's got protection for coming out. It's got two so the first one is when it's played. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, so quite a bit. You look at the top seven, especially when you've got a lot of thinning in this deck. And you look grab any Android 20. No, sorry, you grab choose Android, any Android 18 or Android 17 for among them, and place it under your Z extra. Or you just throw it in your battle area. So it doesn't gain you anything, just comes down, looks at the top seven, and slaps an Android 17 or 18 underneath your destroy OSC. And as ever also is if you have three more energy, when this card will be uh destroyed by one of your Android skill card skills. You uh you can choose up to one Android 17 or 18 uh, with energy cost less than or equal to your energy, and no keyword skills, and play it from underneath your troll West City in your battle area. So essentially, you bring like normally you bring this up turn three to have an Android 20 for your lead effect, and basically you put an extra Android 17 or 18 from from your uh, deck from those top seven under your troll West City. Then when you would pop this to be able to play an Android 18 or 17 from your hand with an energy cost less than or equal to your energy with no keyword skills and give it power. You then get to trigger by popping this. You get the trigger that effect and put that on everyone from your Z extra, uh, Z extra. So by paying one energy to play this out from underneath your from your Z deck, you get to set up something that you want under your Troy City, and then using your leader to pop it, you minus something fifteen, then play an Android from your hand and one from your Z battle card. So for one energy, you get to play out two threats, especially because it doesn't deter it doesn't. Say you have to play something different from what you've already got on board or already played from hand. You can essentially have a skillless one, skillless in your hand, and a sk then put a skillless under if you see extra using this effect, and then use the effect to lead, pop it to minus like 15, and play out an Android 18 skillless from your hand, give it barrier, then use this effect to play an Android skillless from underneath your um, Z extra, and then you've got two 30k skillless just swing with on turn three for next to one energy. That's really nice. And that, that doesn't count anything you've got already on board, your leader swing and everything else you can play from the turn to then put more pressure on. And that's it. So that's the Z deck. I don't really have a side deck for it because I'm still working on the side deck, like it's more really specified to um, to finals. And it always depends on the your meta, like how you like what you prefer, like any things you personally have trouble with dealing with and stuff like that. So there's no point in putting a side deck in for this. It's always best to go over the main deck and Z deck, so you've got the idea of it. Then you can build the side deck if you want, because the side decks are more personal to the player than anything else. But that is it for the red Android deck. So, yeah, like you're going to want to try and get your Strong West City out as soon as possible. If you've gone second, you can establish it turn one. 
to save you, save it so you turn two you can play this uh, unison if need be if you are if you have it and then if you're going first you have an easy way to use up your turn one by using the effect of the lead to search to use that once per game effect and search for your 20 for your deck quiet different energy different turns you beat each other down and then do some stuff and once you've got your z extra down and potentially use unison it then depends what you've got in the point you got in the hand and just be as aggressive as possible so that is it from me thank you for watching feel free to like comment and subscribe hopefully you like the red android decks that i can do and go do a bit of testing right on the so remember if you've got any comments comment down below and answer as i can like the video if you enjoyed it and then subscribe if you haven't ready to keep up to date with content like this so that is me for the day thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now